Apparently, I'm doing two videos this week back to back. This particular video has nothing to do with anything that I have spoken of previously. It's just something that has been on my mind and on my heart and feel like I should share it to encourage all of you out there that are watching some of my videos. So this particular uh, topic is from John chapter 10. And in John chapter 10, it's mostly Jesus speaking and he's teaching. In the first part of the chapter, he gives it in parable, in a parable, but they don't understand. So he explains further on. So the first part of the chapter, he explains how a shepherd is known by the sheep and the sheep know his voice. So when the shepherd calls to the sheep, he calls them by name. So they all have a name and they recognize him to be the shepherd and they come to him. And Jesus explains further in the chapter that he is the true shepherd and he calls his own sheep by name and they know his voice. And one particular verse says they are known by him and he is known by them. So this causes me to think about the word being called by name or that particular phrase. And when I think about calling, I think about something that requires a response. So there are lots of things in life that people can be passionate about that they can dive into and they really enjoy, whether it's their their business or whether it's their job and career, whether it's their family. A lot of people are passionate about a lot of things. But in relation to a calling, I believe a calling comes from the shepherd, from the true shepherd, from God. And that when he calls us by name, he's not just calling us just by our name. He is calling all of who we are by name. And as I began to think about this, because that's a familiar verse to me, I started to think about, well, what if I started calling out all the things that are in me that are a part of me and responding that way? So as I began to think about this, I was picturing my classroom because I am a teacher and thinking about calling students to line up let's just say. So I would call them by name and they would line up. But then there would only be one student at the front. And I thought, well, out of all the gifts that God gives us, because some people have more than others, but we all have gifts that we can share and give to other people. But we don't want just one at the front. And I thought, well, this doesn't make sense, God. If you're just calling one to the front, when all your gifts have a place and all people have a place in your kingdom. So then I thought in my mind, well, maybe I wouldn't rearrange the kids as lining up as to leave the classroom. I would call them to the front so that they could uh, face the classroom so that many of the children could be up at the front and all their faces could be seen. And therefore, whatever it is that they wanted to share or whatever gift they had to offer could be given and could be on display. And so this is what I began to pray as that thought came to my mind, that we can as Christians and as believers and as the sheep that are called by name, we can start to call the things out of us by name so that they become the forefront of our character and they become on display. They become shown and in the open for everyone to see. So what I started to call forth, because I believe that God has called me to do some spoken word and do some writing, which I've done in the past. And so I started to pray and I started to call that forth. And I said, I call forth the ability and the gift to do spoken word and writing to the front. And then I started to pray other things and I started to call other things to the front of my character to the front so that it would be noted, it would be seen, it would be recognized. And so I just want to encourage you that if you're not sure where you want to go in life or where it is God is calling you in life, seek him, ask him what your gifts are if you don't know, because everybody has gifts given to them from God. And if you do know, I encourage you to call those things forth, call them to the front, call them to the openness, call them so that they are on display. So in essence, when I was thinking about it, it's like, okay, well, I call this, 
up and I call this gift to the front. In essence, what we're doing is we're calling Jesus to the front. We're calling him to be the one who leads us and guides us. We're calling him to work through us and become the forefront of our character and the forefront of our ministries. And I just want to encourage you that, that you can believe for those things and you can call them forth just as Jesus calls us by name and we are accounted for and we are a part of his fold, we can also call forth those things that are in us. And if we want to take it one step further, we can call forth those things that are in other people. And for me specifically, it would be calling forth the gifts that are in the students that I have and encouraging them in that. So just encourage you tonight. Bye.